Good day and you are welcome. How to solve this algebraic equation? And a lot of students might find this out that okay, let's just give it try and error method. Like let's just start introducing some values, so we get the value that will be equivalent to this. But let's try to avoid doing that because I'm going to be showing you how to get all the four solutions that satisfy this problem. Let's get into it. So the first thing is we write s minus three to the power of four, and we take this sixteen here as minus sixteen. Everything equals zero. So following x minus 3 raised to the power 4 minus, we can write this as 2 to the power of 4 and everything equals 0. So from here, let's say we write this as x minus 3 raised to the power 2 and all raised to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of 2, all raised to the power of 2 equals 0. Let's say we consider this identity as a squared minus b squared. This is equals a minus b multiplied by a plus b. Then we have x minus 3 raised to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of 2. We bracket this multiply by x minus 3 raised to the power 2 plus 2 to the power of 2 and this equals 0 from this difference of 2 squared by letting x minus 3 raised to power 2 minus 2 raised to power 2 equals 0 as the first case similarly we also let this one equals to 0 but let's try to deal with this first so looking at this we have x minus 3 squared minus 2 raised to the power of 2 equals 0. So it's just like difference of 2 square for the second time. As we are going to rewrite this as x minus 3 minus 2 in bracket, open bracket, x minus 3 plus 2, and this equals 0. So from here we have x minus 5. Multiply by x minus 1 and everything equals 0. So this is very simple more than I think before. So here is a just like quadratic factor as we are going to let x minus 5 equals to 0 or x minus 1 equals 0. Therefore we get x equals 5 or we have x equals 1. This is Solution 1 and here is solution 2. And both of them are real solutions. Then, by considering the second part, which is the positive part of this, we are going to write this as x minus 3 raised to the power 2 plus 2 to the power of 2 equals 0. So, do we have any identity for this? Yes, but it will not work at this stage. The best thing we can do is, let's try to expand this out. By expanding this, we have x to the power of 2 minus 6x plus 9. This is what we get for this. Plus 2 squared, that is 4, and everything equals 0. So this implies that x squared minus 6x, 9 plus 4, that is 13. And this equals 0. So I'm going to show you another amazing method of solving these quadratic equations without applying quadratic formula. What to do is, let's transfer 13 to the other side. We have x squared minus 6x equals minus 13. And again, for this 6, if I write 6 divided by 2, that is going to be 3. And let's say we take the square of that 3 and add it to both sides. We have x squared minus 6x plus 3 squared this equals minus 13 plus 3 squared and from here we have to combine this as x minus 3 raised to the power of 2 equals minus 13 plus uh minus 13 plus 3 squared here is going to give us minus 4 okay and by taking the square of square root of both sides, we have x minus 3 
equals plus or minus square root of minus 4. Then we have x equals 3 plus or minus the square root of this minus 4 can be break down as minus 1 multiplied by 4. And by rule of sort, we have x equals 3 plus or minus. We separate this as square root of minus 1 multiplied by square root of 4. Then x equals 3 plus or minus square root of minus 1. This is going to give us i multiplied by 2 or uh, we can simply write this as 3 plus or minus 2i here are other two solutions which is x2 comma x3 comma x4 because from this equation we have uh, it as quartic that is we are getting four solutions as we already gotten that four solutions and we can try to verify for only the real solutions by substituting it in this as we have x equals to 5 we can still have x equals 1 so let's say we substitute it in this we are going to have it as 5 minus 3 raised to power 4 we want to check if this equals 16 so from here 5 minus 3 that is 2 to the power of 4 and definitely 2 to the power of 4 equals 16 this work and also, for x equals to 1, by substituting it in this, we have 1 minus 3 raised to the power of 4. And uh, we want to check if this equals 16. Here we have 1 minus 3, that is minus 2 raised to the power of 4. I want to check if this equals 16. And let's try to note something here that 1 minus 3, if you write it as minus 2 to the power of 4, this is totally wrong. We have to input this in this parenthesis as minus 2 to the power 4. Both of them, they are affected by this power of 4. And since the power of this is even, any negative we have here, they become positive. Here we are going to write it as 2 to the power 4. And this is also truly equals 16. Which means that S equals to 1 is also the valid solution to this problem. And for the last part which are the complex solutions i'm not going to do it but i'm going to leave a tip for solving that one since the power of it is to the power of four and there are two solutions there which is three plus two i and three minus two i by plug it in that question we are going to have it as three plus two i minus three raised to the power of 4 and we know plus 3 cancel minus 3 and here we have 2i raised to the power of 4 and we want to check if this is equal 16 so not to cap we have 2 to the power of 4 we take it and here is i to the power of 4 and for every i raised to the power of 4 that gives us 1 yeah it gives us 1 therefore 2 to the power of 4 equals 16 so that one still work so let's try to check for the second part and drop the answer in the comment box. Thanks for watching. If you are new here to this channel and you find this video interesting, please do well to like, share, and subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more videos. See you in the next class. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.